What's up guys? So this is the Insta360 X2. This is basically for the the 360 videos you guys see where it has like double camera, which is this and this. And basically when you have your stick, you just lean it this way. You know, take both sides and you can move around in the app. <clears throat> it's actually a really good camera. Um, the weight size is part of like, I think five ounces. Um, the size is I think four, four by one by one, I think. It's a really good size uh, to turn on is this. Water resistance too is 10 meters. Um, the video resolution, I think the highest at 360 is 5.7K at 30 FPS. And then if you want a wide range or wide angle would be uh, 256, 2560X times, uh, I mean, X1440. And then it's 50 FPS. But yeah, this is how the camera looks like. That's me right there. Um, and then also, um, I think the if you if you wanted to do photo for the 360 as well, it's it's 6080 x 3040, and panel is four, uh, 1430. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, it's panel is 4320 x 1440. So, and then as you can see, that's me right there with my camera. So yeah, you can turn it on here too. And you can see, you can play around with it as well on your screen. You can 360, you can go this way. You can do auto or manual. I just, I normally just put auto when I make my videos. You click right here for the resolution 5.7, 4K, 3K at 100 FPS. Uh, I think the battery life is around like 80 minutes and this is at the fullest resolution too, which is 5.7K at 30 F FPS. <clears throat> I, I, haven't <clears throat> I haven't used it underwater yet, but I mean, I wouldn't recommend it or, you know, using it with water. <clears throat> and if it's been refurbished too, I would definitely wouldn't never use it underwater, just FYI. Anything that's been refurbished, that they break the seals and it doesn't it doesn't have the same functionality of resistance as before <clears throat> but yeah and then uh if so basically if you wanted to film you can watch your videos you basically hold it down three seconds to turn it off <clears throat> and if you if you want to do like a quick quick um video you just push record which is this right here and it should turn on and start recording automatically as you can see it's recording and basically you just push it off one time again and it'll stop recording and it'll turn off on the same time. And then if you <clears throat> turn this on right here, turn it back on. So you can turn it back on here and then push record. And it'll start recording. And then if you're done, just turn it off and then turn it off at the same time. And then the batteries right here. X2s and X3 batteries are way different. So just FOI. If you guys do buy one, then the SIM card is right here. I normally use either 128 or 256. I only use these. I use either a SanDisk Extreme or a SanDisk Extreme Pro. And this is a 128 one. So I'll link this. There, there's a type that you should only use, which is this this right here where it says um, A2 and then all this. You can't really see on the camera, but I'll link everything at the very bottom of the video. I use this for my go, I use this for biking, uh, snowboarding, and um, I use this for my uh, my, my uh, dirt, electric dirt bike too. So yeah, that's how you then put it back in. And then if you guys do dirt bike or, you know, uh, snowboard, I, I mean, I wouldn't, snowboarding is pretty light. So you won't, if you go through tree runs, I would get like a, uh, one of these bad boys. Lens guard. If you go snowboarding through the trees, I did scratch my X3, but these two are the same things. I think this one is more like if you don't want, because the X3 has a bigger screen, and this one has a small screen, so it doesn't get messed up so easily, or you won't break the screen, or you won't get scared of breaking the screen. But the X3 and X2 lens are basically the same thing. This is the case. Put it back in. And then to take it off, you push this. And then um, the charge, where you charge is the C charge. And you just charge it from here. Just be careful if you guys are charging, it does get a little bit hot. I normally just use the USB to 
USB-C, not USB-C to USB-C. So if you if you do do a slow charge, I would so it doesn't overheat the inside. But um, if you're in a rush, I use use USB-C to USB-C. And I do use this, as you can see, I'm using it for my phone. I do have the uh, Insta360 stick and this stick as well. They're both really good. It has a smooth, stable, invisible selfie stick and then the fold-out tripod. Yeah, this is this is actually a really good bundle. I'll link it at the very bottom of the description. But yeah, this is the X2. I told you the guys' the specs. <clears throat> Please like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.